I'm a self-deaf artist and art teacher. In the last six years, I have been constantly learning and developing my work, which is focused on silk paintings and other fabric painting techniques. As a self-deaf artist, I understand how you feel. I speak your language because I know how difficult it is to learn all by yourself. You may wonder where to start, what are the right choice of materials or what are the right choice of techniques. If you are looking for a better way of learning how to paint on silk or other fabrics, you are in the right place. Let me tell you a story about myself. Six years ago, I was working in a big corporation company with long working hours. At the time, I wasn't happy with what I was doing and my life wasn't in a place where I wanted to be. So I fell into a big depression. I started to ask myself many questions. What can I do to make myself feel better? What do I like to do? And what am I good at? I remember as the kid, I was always spending a lot of time in drawing and writing. So from asking the right questions, I found the right answers. That was the moment when I decided to take action. I took the car key and drove to the supermarket near home. I bought a set of acrylic paints, some brushes and canvases to start picking up my creative journey, which I have left off many years ago. And that was how my art story began. In the beginning, I painted landscape, flowers and abstract. The moment I started to paint, nothing can stop me. I heard a lot about the state of flow, but I can truly understand it when I am immersing myself with the creating activity. I realized how much I love painting and the effect of this change towards my emotional as well as personal life. From being depressed, I became happier and I enjoyed what I do not only in my spare time, but also at work. Up to my surprise, most of my artwork are sold for my friends and my colleagues. I began to join many group art exhibitions in Dubai where I was living at the time. My art was sold for locals, expats, as well as tourists during the exhibitions in local art galleries and events. I was happy, but I knew something was missing. I was still in the search of my artist's voice. I was looking for a painting style, which I loved the most, to master it. One day, I saw a Facebook post which was showing the beautiful paintings on silk. They were made by one of the best silk painters John Matono. It was love at first sight. I fall in love with his paintings. They are colorful yet elegant, flowing like watercolor, yet firm brush strokes like acrylic. They are a combination of lines and shapes with fine details of final touch of hand embroidery. I couldn't stop watching them. And that was the moment I found the painting technique, which I really want to learn. I contacted him and traveled on the way to Indonesia, not so long after. I started my one and only art training in person with an amazing artist and art teacher who has 30 years of experience and he has developed this painting technique over the years. There is a Japanese proverb saying, better than a thousand days of diligent study is one day with a great teacher, and I cannot agree more. I felt honored and extremely happy because I finally found what I was looking for as an artist's signature. 
after this trip, my silk paintings were born. I began with the special painting techniques that Joan has taught me. I created many paintings on silk with my style of hand embroidery. Most of them are sold in exhibitions and now not only in Dubai but also internationally. During this time, many artists, art teachers, and art lovers showing their interest in my work. They came and asked me about my techniques, where do I get my inspirations, and also asking about the materials which I use. Some of them asked me to teach them, and of course I agreed. I believe knowledge is not the same without sharing. Just as Joan has agreed to teach me once, and that has changed my life forever. At this time, I was so excited to prepare for my lessons and how to teach people to paint the way I do. And they are not ordinary people. They are artists and art teachers with many years of experience. So I decided to dive deeper into the lake of knowledge for silk paintings, fabric paintings, and textile design. I studied day and night and whenever I have time. I was reading books, watching YouTube videos. I was learning from all the professional silk painters that I could find on the internet. I also purchased many online courses to learn from the most experienced artists. Little did I know, I am living both of my childhood dreams to be a teacher and also to be an artist. In the following years, I have been invited to teach in the primary school, also in the art university, as well as different art centers in Dubai. At the same time of teaching what I have learned, I kept on experimenting and creating different ways of painting on fabrics. From making traditional paintings, I then learned to paint on silk scarves, expanding my work onto larger fabrics, which can be used for tailoring garments like jackets, skirts, and dresses. The finished work can also be used for home decor items, such as pillowcase, tablecloth, placemat, curtains, and so on. There are so many different painting techniques when it comes to silk painting particularly and fabric paintings in general. Traditional silk painting uses water, applying silk paints or dyes with water, alcohol, salt, sugar, dilutant, or thickener, to create different painting effects. One of my favorite techniques to paint on silk or cotton is batik. What is batik? Batik is both an art and a craft, which is becoming ever more popular and well known among the contemporary artists all over the world, as it is a wonderful creative medium. The art of decorating fabrics using wax and dyes, which has been practiced for centuries in many parts of the world, including China, Japan, 
India, Africa, South America and Europe. In this course, I will guide you through step by step to create beautiful paintings with intricate patterns using the Indonesian batik art. After the course, you will be able to paint on all the different kind of natural fabrics. So if this sounds good to you, why don't you come over and we will start this art journey together. Thank you.